In this fourth video in this series, I'll be performing a quick examination on the two electric motorcycles I have recently imported from China to United States and pointing out the issues I have discovered. For the sake of providing you a summary from the previous videos, here are the issues we have discovered during the uncrating of the motorcycles. 1. The charges shipped with the motorcycles are both European spec, not US spec. 2. The speedometers on both motorcycles read in kilometers per hour instead of miles per hour. 3. My gray black motorcycle arrived with 68 kilometers on the odometer. The red one, my son's, only had 4 kilometers out of the crate. And 4. The bolt securing the left handlebar on the red motorcycle during shipping was cross-threaded almost all the way in. I had to extract the stainless steel bolt, which was fortunately undamaged, and retap the hole in the aluminum handlebar. Now here is the video of my quick examination of the motorcycles and my findings. So my son and I are going to do a quick test ride on these before it gets dark again. But before we start, I would like to point out a couple things, a couple issues uh, out of the crate. So this is my son's and as you can see there's a little scratch here. It's quite deep down to the metal. And also the left, the rear brake reservoir has been leaking very slowly, but you can see the, the brake fluid here and an oil over here, so just wiping it off. There's still enough brake fluid in the reservoir. And as ordered, this one is the lowest base model. 72 volts lead acid battery is 2000 watts. The brand is Osmotor. And mine should be the same. So it's Osmotor, but there is no designation printed on this one. There are like two stickers with Chinese writings on them. Of course, I cannot read. I don't know. I'm hoping it's not less than 2000 watts, maybe hopefully more than 2000 watts. So I have to check. Maybe the part number online and see what it is. And on mine, there's also a, a smaller scratch on the plastic. And on mine, the rear brake, the left one, the reservoir is fine, but the, the front brake reservoir on the right is leaking. So you can see it leaked while it was sitting in the in the garage the last couple of weeks waiting for the warmer weather and you can see the brake fluid here as well underneath so I have to take a look later you know what's causing it is this uh, maybe the quality of the reservoir or maybe it was not tightened enough so I have to check at one point but they both have enough brake fluid it should be fine and during the first test ride we had some noise coming from the brakes brake noise so i'm hoping that those are going to go away as the um, as the brakes set in so we are going to get now ready to start our our second test ride i did an online search of the alphanumeric string printed on the hub motor of my motorcycle but did not find anything the qs motor website did not provide any insights either also, the hub motor on my son's red motorcycle does not have this type of alphanumeric string printed on it. Hence, I started to think that this motor is not an original QS motor, but perhaps a no-name part or a knockoff. Oh well, it is what it is. Please stay tuned for my next video in this series covering the test ride and the top speed check. Until then, take care and thank you for watching.